Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting some blue paint down on here. Now, I'm not going to spray it. It's just still too windy. So I'm going to brush it on. I may have to get some more blue paint, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'll fast forward, fast forward you through some of this. And um, I had to do some more sanding down here. Right there. Because, uh... I didn't like the way it looked <laughs> so you know I still got some white paint left to uh, do some touch-up stuff but what we're going to focus on right now is the sides I've got the uh, the numbers taped off up there at the front uh, you can't see it because they're taped off with blue paint so what I'll do is I'll let you roll for a minute and I'll fast forward you through some of this and that way you guys can kind of come along with us on the repainting of this thing like I said this is not a professional job you know it's not a 1957 Chris Craft or you know it's not a 78 Avenger it's an old John boat I know a lot of people say well John boats got a flat bottom look it's it's just a fishing boat you know it's a 14 foot fishing boat we just wanted to make sure the bottom was sealed and you know getting it ready for summer we're gonna have it out a lot just kind of make sure the bottom sealed and just giving it a fresh look because after we've had this out two or three times, you'll never know it was painted anyway. So we just, you know, wanted to freshen it up a little bit. Yeah, the right way to do it. Take it clear down to aluminum, blah, blah, blah. I know that. I know. It's a fishing boat. It's a little 14-foot aluminum fishing boat. <laughs> okay, guys, that out of the way. Let's get some paint mixed. Well, we don't have to mix it. We're just going to stir it up. And there's some paint on it. There's the first coat. It's not going to take long. I'll give it about 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes. I'll give it a second coat. Then we'll see how it looks from there. I'm not going to bore you with the second coat. and I'm not going to bore you with the other side. I still got some stuff to do. I still got to tape off the, the numbers on the other side and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not worried about brush marks. If it gets brush marks, it's got character. I don't care. Uh, but it looks like the brush marks are disappearing, so that's pretty good. So, I'm going to let this dry, give it a second coat, and I'll be back with you when the second coat is done. Now, on the other side, or on the inside, I've got a lot of blue paint running down, like, onto the white that's on the inside. That's okay, because the inside's getting painted, too, the white. And then we're going to put, after, after we paint the white, we're going to put blue carpet down. So... I'm not worried about that. I got some blue on the on the white up here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's okay because I got some white paint that I'll touch that up with no problem. Then I got I got another quart, 32 ounces of clear. Once this is done, if it's not windy, I'll clear 
I'll just clear the whole thing once it's all done. I'll just go ahead and give the whole thing a, uh, a coat of clear. And then I think it'll be all right. So there you go. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I got the second coat on the whole boat. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can tell, it's very windy. Uh, the light changed on me, so as I walk around, I'm finding more. I noticed that when I, that's real light. Uh, when I was giving it the second coat, it looks a little light up there. But I may give it a third coat. I have got plenty. I still got about three, three, three fourths of a quart. Sorry about the wind. I don't have my mic on. Uh, I got about three fourths of a quart left. So I may give it a third coat of the blue. Great. The joys of painting outside, right? Okay. Uh, I've got some white touch up dude. Like I said, I'm not worried about that inside there because we're scraping all that off. That's going to be repainted white. Uh, both sides. And then the carpet, anywhere you see the black, that's going to be blue carpet. So, like I said, I'm not worried about that. Um, I, I'll have to touch this up. I started to, and as you can see, it kind of wanted to smear with the blue. So I'll let that dry overnight, touch it up tomorrow. I never did like the way they put these letters or the numbers. Like this one's okay. But I think what I'll do, see it followed that line there. And then this, they kind of, I may peel that off and restick it. I think what I'm going to do though, hang on a second. Assholes. It's 25 through here. We got kids in the back. Fucking smart. What, I'm, what I think what I'll do is tomorrow we'll go get some new, new ladders and numbers. And I'm not going to go with this style. I'll just get like the kind of the vinyl that that's white. That's just there's no outline. It's just the letter and the number. You know what I mean? I think it'll look better than that. Which it's legal to do it that way as long as you got your numbers on there and they're they're visible. Um, but I think I'll run it. Maybe try to get them straight or run with that top line. Uh, this just, you know, I may do this the same way, move it up, and then I'll clear coat over everything. I'll just take this tarp here, and I'll cover the seats up, and then I'll just, uh, you know, just clear coat everything up there. I mean, that's, that's pretty dry right now, so I don't know if the camera's picking up how shiny it is, but, I mean... Yeah, that's dry. Oh yeah, it's dry. You can see how shiny it is. I think. So. Yeah. I'll stand back here. Take a good look at it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do with them letters and numbers. I ain't, you know, I just don't like them block letters and block numbers like that. Um, like I said, I know it's not a, it's not a 57 Chevy or anything like that, but, you know, every little bit helps on an old boat like this, right? So, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. These letters and these numbers will be white and they'll peel off and it'll just be the number. There'll, there'll be no box that it won't be outlined. So, I think that'll be cool. But, yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. And man, that thing is shiny. So like I said, I've got plenty of blue to, to touch up. That's going to need a second coat. I never did put a second coat on that. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but uh, I think she wants these painted blue again, these handles. Doesn't matter to me what she wants. That's fine. I'll paint them blue for her. But... You know, now it's just touch up stuff and get the interior done. She's talking about she may get these seats redone with a darker blue. So we'll see what that costs. 
Well, you can see this one came off. It's over there, but uh, the plywood they used on these seats is just regular plywood. It's not treated. Uh, I don't think this is treated, but this is okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll find a upholstery shop around here, see what they'll charge. If it's not too much, we'll just take them in and get them done for. I wasn't going to paint that, you know, these, this section. Um, but I think I will. Uh, I got to pull the damn lights off, though. But that's okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and repaint them, too, when we do the inside. Start on the inside. I'll repaint them. Of course, that's going to be repainted. Ordered more lights. We've got, let's see, two four six we've got eight lights in there ordered ten more so i'm going to put one on each side here in the center here and then here just right above that black line like that one there is and then that'll leave me four more i think i'm going to put up under the fender one on each above each wheel under the fender of the truck so <laughs> should be cool and then the fun start the fun stuff i got new i got new bow lights i think i told you um i got them in the house uh which is navigation lights red and green um so yeah i got a couple white ones i think i'll put back here on their own switch yeah see that's going to need painted on their own switch so that way i can have some lighting back here if you know at dark if i need need to do something or whatever so but you know for an old just an old fishing boat that thing's gonna look pretty good for about a week <laughs> but yeah it's cool you know i didn't straighten any of this out i left that on purpose because i just think it's really neat <laughs> the thing's been beat up and um it's character in my book and an old boat like that just an old fishing boat so there you go guys it's getting really windy so i'm gonna say what the hell <laughs> not that but let's say hope you all have a great weekend and a better week to come next week and uh, stay tuned for more videos on this thing and um then we'll get it out on the water hopefully next weekend we'll see i'm not sure um we'll get it out and make sure you know there's not there's no water coming in or anything which there shouldn't be like i said there was only two rivets that was seeping some water in uh but most of the water we were getting in was either splashed in or you know something something like that like the go jumping them waves and stuff and the water will blow back in but i think it's going to be all right now um so i never did have to worry about it i got a pump like i said but i've never had to pump the water out it's never been i mean it's never been that much so maybe a quarter inch in the back if that you know on the very back by the motor not enough to even get the pump to prime to pump it so all right guys again shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gonna go for now monkey's got one more patient and then she'll be on her way home and see what she thinks of it so we'll see you guys soon have a good one thanks for watching these videos guys i appreciate it uh, i just bring you along with these you know on these these little projects, you know, just for fun, just so you guys can stay updated on what's going on. And and those of you that don't care, I don't care. <laughs> it don't matter. But those of you that do, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Appreciate all your support. Love all your guys' comments. Keep the comments coming. And uh, I'll get back to them just as soon as I can. Love reading all your comments. So, all right, guys. We'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.